Hi everyone, so today I'm at Revo Abbey in North Yorkshire, a Cistercian Priory from the Middle Ages. So um, follow me and we're going to have a look around. So Revo was a Cistercian Abbey in the early Middle Ages. At its peak in around about 1200 it had 600 monks living here and lay brothers as well to carry out the manual tasks. With the Cistercians they wore white robes, they're also known as white monks or maybe in a lot of cases people refer to them as white friars. They were a very um, strict domestic, domestic order. So they worked off the wall at one of the walls of Benedict in one certain chapter. And the reason why they are out here in the middle of nowhere off the south, southern North Yorkshire moors is that they lived a very restricted lifestyle. So they didn't have access to a, a lot of amenities like some of the um, chapters that are in the towns. In 1322, Revo Abbey was devastated by pillaging Scots as they advanced following Edward II's defeat in Scotland. By the middle of that century, the Black Death had came into the community and devastated it. By 1380, from 600 the year before, the community was down to just 15 monks and lay members. stairs to the monks dormitory. The choir monks were required to pray eight times a day up to five hours so they would have prayed at about two three o'clock in the morning in some cases. The access to and from the dormitory gave them the easy access for this. But across from me where I'm standing at the moment there's another two doorways that head up to the cemetery here at Vivo and then in between there would have been a tower above, above the crossing like most um, cathedrals that we know today. So on to the next step. The east end of the church of Revo was rebuilt in about 1200 as compared to the west end which was built about 60 years earlier in, in, 11, in 1140. As you can see it is much more elegant than this end. This is the most important part of the church. The high altar it has been reconstructed in, mod in modern times following the dissolution of the Abbey which will come on to later. But along the side here though, there will also have been side chapels, um, normally known as chanteries for prayers for, chantry prayers for deceased patrons of the Abbey. At the far end of the, at the, far end of the east end of the church, behind the high altar, was also the site, the site of the shrine of St Elvid, who was one of the early founders of the Abbey here. We're now in the cloister of Rebo. The cloister was the heart, central heart of the monastic community. It's where the monks came to work, uh, doing their reading and their writing, and nearly all the important buildings that are situated off, off of the cloister here. To the, to the north we have the Abbey Church itself. Just to behind me here on the west side we have the West Range. This was where the lay brothers would have lived and worked themselves. Across the other side of the cloister, the cloister would have been the chapter house and the university and to the south was the refectory which is where we'll be heading to next. The cloister itself today is just an open piece of ground, grass ground. It always, it always had a garden in the centre much like a small quad is, to, uh, is today. Except, um, except now it is open and exposed. Originally it would have had a timber roof across which, and so it would have been a covered area and so easy for people to work and do their study. Here's the refectory or dining room of Mevo Abbey. You're looking down into the undercroft, the original flooring would have been on the same level as I'm standing on now. It's here that the monks came to eat. Um, they would have ate very um, 
simple meals in silence except for one monk who would have been in the pulpit just on the, to the right hand side there saying reading from the bible we've just come out of the chapter house which was the office of the um, monastic group and we're now heading past the warming house into the next section of the abbey. The chapter house was where the monks met and did all their, they, their meet, held their meetings, their courts etc. It's also where they received important visitors. In the chapter house as well we, is it was the location of the shrine of St. Abbot. Um, Abbot William, he was the first abbot of, of the Evo and was one of the, was renovated here at Rakka Saint although he never got sanctified himself.